Hello, it's me, Eli, Plague of Gripes. I pray to whatever deity you believe in or don't believe in, whatever is going on with you, I don't care, that you start on this part and not part zero. Part zero, I anticipated being about 20 minutes of me playing around the character creator. It was not that. It was an hour and a half. Oh my god, please watch this one first. Or maybe I'll just delete that one and we'll forget that it ever happened. But I finally finished creating my character. Here we have... Mr. Gripes, with his faint imp ashes, starting as a vagabond. I don't know what any of this means. This is my first playthrough, first reactions, as I've said in part zero, if you dared to watch that one. Um, most of my playthroughs of, like, Dark Souls are focused on me wandering around, looking at stuff, talking about them at length, doing, like, really in-depth analysis of things. That's what this playthrough is going to be, for the most part. But this all, it's all going to be first reactions, and I know nothing about the lore of this game. I know nothing about a lot of the, like, even the stats and stuff. I know nothing. We're going in here as a Souls veteran and nothing else. That's all I've got. So, this is going to be me learning the game. To that end, let's get started. In theory. If I can actually get it to... Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's going to be one of those kinds of playthroughs. Also, I, can't, I really look forward to someone creating a bunch of shitty music tracks out of the opening of this particular game so that they can flag everyone's LPs and steal all the monetization. I love that about YouTube. Also, I've, I don't know about the performance of this on PC, so if everything just crashes and burns, that's what happens. The Fallen. Starting with artwork. Did not anticipate that. The great Elden Ring was shattered. Oh, so it's a literal ring. In or maybe not. Home, across the fog. The lands between. Okay. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knight, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. That's a pretty rough way to go. Right in the spine? Soon, America's offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shah. Of the Elden hmm. Ring. Now, was she a god, or was she the human component of that? The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. The shattering of the ring itself? A war from which no lord arose. Okay. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. This is all vague enough that it's going to be while well to piece together what exactly oh, the backstory was. Rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands. Okay, we're doing this again. The ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome Dung Eater. Damn, he's already dead, right? Right? And Sir Gideon Othmir, the all-knowing... Are those ears? Are you sleeping with ears, sir? Shouldn't he be the all-hearing? Yeah, interesting that that was all art. 
and one other, whom grace would again bless. <gasps> Is that me? Am I the grace blessed one? Of no oh. renown. Some shithead. A nobody on Twitch. Who only brought Lost in a mere five viewers. To the lands between. Stand before the Elden Ring. Now it did sort of allude that the Elden Ring is a literal ring and that was shattered on an anvil. The Elden Lord. But that may not necessarily be true. For all I know, the Elden Ring could be like the map itself in a big area around it or the tree or something. Or maybe it's the Battle Royale <laughs> horizon that shrinks in. As you fight. Okay. Uh, and emotes? Okay. Alright, so room one. Again, I know nothing about the lore of this game. I know nothing about what's going on. Also, don't know what the performance of the PC version is going to be like. So if this crashes or something, I would not be surprised. So briefly, I'll mention that in Dark Souls 1, or Demon's Souls as well, Demons, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, uh, Bloodborne, I guess, will also include in that. As far as the openings go, I always, as far as the Souls games go, and I'll include Demons in this, I guess I always liked 1 the most because of the fact that it just tells you what you need to know, it explains the lore, the setting, in, the, in a fairly straightforward but still vague way. It does a good job of setting it all up. Two had almost nothing to say. It, like, it was probably the most impressive in terms of, like, doing a little bit of storytelling. But it was a story that didn't really matter. Uh, it didn't really set up the game in any meaningful way. Three had the problem of just trying to rehash one, but it had even less meaning. So this is probably the worst one. Bloodborne did a really good job of setting up its lore, but of course Bloodborne is Bloodborne, so it's even more vague and bizarre than would be useful in any circumstance. Uh, Demon Souls, of course, was like this one, where it started out with a bunch of concept art and did a very good job of setting things up. Uh, something that I have not been fond of with the Souls games is they began imitating the way that one was handling things, where uh, it was, here are the bosses, here's a list of all the bosses, which even Demon Souls did. Uh, but it feels like that they just have not been able to get away from that. And I was out almost looking forward to this game not doing that at all. Because honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, the, the the characters do sort of matter, but ultimately they don't in the grand scheme of things. Because most of the story is about the setting itself, typically. Uh, but I'm glad that it was just right there in the tail end. As opposed to uh, being... Ooh, being at the forefront like it was, especially in 3. 3 is by far the worst. Okay. So let's take a look. Did we just wake up in this room? Did we fall in? You can even see the tree up there. I know the tree is going to factor in quite a big deal. Uh, it seems like I heard something about the tree itself may also be... Good luck. The tree itself may also be... Uh, sort of parasitic or something. I'm not sure what that's about, though. I am getting a little bit of lag. I had heard that on PC version, this is release, or the day after release day. It took me a long time to download this because my internet is my internet. Uh, I had heard that in some cases, some people were saying that enemies were turning invisible. Like, the game was running at a full 60, but for whatever reason, uh, they just couldn't make any... They couldn't get the game to run in a coherent way. Okay, let me think. I guess I woke up here. Although, it looked like I was waking up in a coffin or something, a la Dark Souls 3, but there's nothing here that I would have woken up against. So maybe I teleported here. Which, maybe I teleported here under the... Watchful hand. That's a thick hand. That lady's got a big, thick hand. She must have been petting some uh, big kitties at some point. Um, so maybe I was just teleported here and this statue has some sort of significance re related to that. I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know who this character is. Don't have the uh, background in this game to know just yet. Lots of books. This may have been a library or something. Some sort of place of learning. Okay. Let's go into my equipment. Da -da 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 -da. All right, and let me look at the things that I deem important. Okay, long sword, straight sword, double edged blade, in addition to reliable standard tennis weapon, all different functions, pearly balance armor. Right. There doesn't look like there's any lore associated with this though, which is fitting for a starting, a starting bit of equipment. Kind of strange that I'm starting with two weapons. Long handle pole arm to commence function both attack and spear. Can be used to press a single enemy with extended thrusting stacks, swift to groups, take advantage of great range, playing with versatile weapon in any situation. So nothing there either. Heater shield. Oh, they did the heater shield in the other games was usually far more metallic looking. Compared to using the handle, metal shields, relying on the things regarding. Make them help turn battlefield. So nothing there either. This is a parry shield. All right. Now these I expect to actually have something. Helm of a knight. Barnished. Ba barnished. <laughs> barnished. Banished from their motherland. Okay. Dirty and battered after enduring a lengthy vagabond journey. Hmm. All right. So my the backstory of this particular class is that they were banished from their motherland. The visor is broken and can no longer be lowered. Ah, helps with animation costs. That's not quite how that works, but all right. Metal armor is heavy, but also sturdy armor and new damage. All right. Let's see if the other ones are any different. Chest piece, sturdy battered. The crest emblazoned on the front is worn and dingy, no longer able to invoke sentiment. Okay, so there used to be a crest on the front. What did this one say? Visor's broken, okay. Gauntlets, metal arm is hurty. Okay, so usually this is the case with souls items. Usually the chest and the uh, headpiece are the ones that if... Sometimes they'll all have the same thing. Other times it'll be the chest piece and the uh, headpiece that have something different. The arms and legs typically don't have anything important related to them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's this one other item here. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. So spirits, I guess, are always going to be these little bitty summony guys. Used to summon two faint imp spirits. These spirits are well suited to causing a disturbance. They they get rowdy. Them rowdy boys. Moving nimbly like pests and hurling magic pots. Oh! So I was considering actually getting the magic pots as opposed to these guys. I got these for no real specific reason other than most of the... Most of the ones that look useful were considerable items that I figured I would find out in the world anyway. These two imps seem fond of each other's company. Aww. That's my favorite item description in any of the games. Just because they're buddies. They like hanging out. They're cool. All right. This is a memory of grace. Memory of first grace, which one once guided bygone tarnished to the lands between. All right. So is this what I used? This must have been the little point of light that floated down to my hand. Loose all runes return to light. So this is a dark sign, basically. Uh, if you don't know, they always include an item like this in case you, like, clip through the world or something happens that is not a foreseen development. And because they always auto-save your exact position, there's no way otherwise to go back without a consumable item, usually. So this is your way of teleporting back to a safe space without actually having the, uh, have an item that might be disposable or something that you m may not have. And you can't get rid of this, so this is like the... This is your final safety net. Although speedrunners will also use this for exploits, but no need to go into that. It is merely a cycle. Oh boy! If there's anything I love in FromSoft games, it's talk about cycles. <sighs> if you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Alright, losing rings because it is merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring, become the Elden Lore. Oh, please don't have another fucking cycle story. I hate those. Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it means nothing. Could be nothing. Who knows? Okay. That should be everything. There should be anything secreted away in here. Talisman. Oh. There are no ring slots. There's only the one talisman? 
if that's true, most of you listening will not agree with me. If that's true, I love this. Because one thing I could not stand about the other games, especially as time went on, they kept adding more and more ring slots. The whole point of this is to make it a defining feature of your character. It didn't work in one, because everyone just used Havel's ring and either the Fap ring, or, uh... Like, that was usually your flex slot, but usually people just used Havel and Fap. They might use, like, Chloranthi or something. Um... It, but it primarily didn't work because you everyone just used Havels. Because your item equip, the, the way that game was designed, it just didn't work. It couldn't work at all unless you used Havels Ring. And in 2, of course, you started getting way too many of the damn things. What's over here? Hidden path ahead? I think you're a liar. Mm-hmm. That's a liar. So I wonder if... Oh yeah, I forgot you can jump. I was mashing A to read the thing, because that's usually what it is. It does have a ton of appraisals, though. I wonder why it has a bunch of appraisals. Uh, in Dark Souls 3... Yep, that's how it works. Oh, look, it gives you a compass, too. That's pretty cool. In Dark Souls 3, they started this. It does not work. Of Even if you vote something as being bad, you still get an appraisal for doing it. So it just, like, they, I guess the whole thing with them is that they want messages to be more about, do you trust this message or don't you? It could be someone trying to troll you or it could be actually helpful. And there's no way for you to know that. In the prior games, you could. In 3, it became an almost completely meaningless system because most of the messages are just troll messages. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Alright, so people really, really... People, I don't know who exactly summoned me here. But someone summoned me here and really, really wants me to be the Elden Lord. And uh, considering this is written in front of whoever this is... It is... Switch action. Yeah, okay. Uh, it is probably this lady. Tarnish Wizen Finger. Yay! Okay, let me first look at Lady, if I can. <laughs> no one closed her eyes for her after she died. Okay, so it is Lady. Looks like it is... The NPCs probably are following most of the rules of the uh, other games where a lot of them are just made from the player creation assets. So, she's sort of dressed in a priestly sort of attire. But there's nothing else that I... Whoa, wait, wait, wait. There's a bunch of blood under her, though. So, maybe... I, at first I thought that maybe she summoned you and then died. Like, using her life force or something. But she does have injury, so maybe she was killed for doing whatever it is that she did. Or maybe she's not the one that summoned me at all. But it does seem to be implied that she was. And I can't really make out anything else. Although... The lower sections of her skirt do look very mussy. I thought that they looked like they might be bloodied, but no, they kind of just look like they're dirty. So that's probably nothing. Okay. Plants growing indoors for some reason, even though there is... not really a place for that. There is an open hole up here, though. So I guess the rain would have to come in from this direction. I'm reading way too much into things. Which would mean that they would probably have to... That means that the wind and the weather would have to be coming in from the west. Which does track for how it works in the real world, so... If this was intentional... Good on them. Although it could just be because it's near the door. Okay. Time for bliss. So to speak, the... So to speak, praise the Elden Ring. Good for you, buddy. Just in case. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of any other way to open this besides interact, which is being blocked here, of course. And I think that hidden paths in all the games except for two require actually hitting them. 
Okay. What was the thing I just picked up? This horrible, horrible thing. Oh, it's the it's the soapstone of this particular game. Tarnish Wizen Finger. Item for online play. Can also be used from the messages menu. <laughs> I like to imagine. I wonder who writes these. I've always sort of seen this as you're the player character and you're sort of saying this to yourself. Can be used from the messages menu. Yeah, sure it can be. Used, used to write messages. Your messages will be conveyed to other worlds, allowing other players to read them. A finger of corpse wax. So emaciated, the bone is visible. What is corpse wax? And it's saying the bone is visible, so that makes it sound like it's... Like the body itself is converted to wax. Like your flesh is, but the bone remains. I don't really see why something that is artificial in nature would have a bone inside of it. It is a relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. Okay. Now I wonder if... I can't do this now. I wonder if I zoomed in on this, if she would be missing a finger. I doubt it. Five. And five. No. She's not missing a finger. Okay. Now, <laughs> if you're wondering, is the whole playthrough going to be like that? He's been in this room for like 20 minutes. Yes. Yes, that is what I do. That is what I do, my friend. Now, already we have a blood stain. Fantastic. I hope I don't immediately get attacked coming out of here. I say that because it is a FromSoft game, and FromSoft games love doing shit like that. Chapel of Anticipation. Okay, what do we got here? Alright, broken railings made out of stone. Some of it looks like it's... That actually looks bigger, so maybe it came off of something up there. Huh, it does look like it's not from here, though. Or it's the wrong size. I guess it could be the same thing. No, it's definitely a little bit larger. That could be an oversight. I don't know. But some of it's broken off. So apparently this place has been attacked or something. I don't know. Tiny, tiny door. <gasps> tiny, tiny door. Blot shut. Okay, so door there for future. Probably way back up. Losing lots of frames. But that's probably normal for this particular early playthrough of this game. And I mentioned uh, before in my play in my part zero, I'll mention it again. Uh, because of the nature of me walking around looking at stuff like this, it takes a long time for me to get from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. So this will just be a continuous thing that will probably take like a year of me playing through the whole thing. Uh, so at some point, I will start another character and be using that one to just casually play the game. Because I'm not insane. I'm not going to have a first reaction thing that takes like two years to get done. I want to actually play the game. Treasure chest ahead. Let there be good luck. People leaving a lot of mysterious messages that don't seem to be leading to anything. Anything actually down there? Nope, that is death. So that's a bad message. We won't be paying any attention to that. I say that now, but I imagine people, no, there's a treasure. What are you doing? And I'm just trying not to die unnecessarily. Also, I am sort of good at Souls games if I have played them enough. Oh, that's weird. It's just an automatic. Uh, huh. That's one way of handling it, I guess. Usually in these games, you have to interact with the little signs that people leave you in order to read what the controls and everything say. Although I've never seen it just do a pop-up like that before. Read message. Be wary of jumping. So don't jump off here. So let's see what people have been doing. Apparently nothing. The bloodstain didn't really seem to work. 
Touch Bloodstain. Yeah, Bloodstains are not working here for some reason. Maybe it's because of early release PC woes, I don't know. But a little red man's supposed to show up and then run around. Oh wait, there's one. Or was that just... I think that was just an ordinary white phantom. So yeah, for whatever reason, only white phantoms are showing up. The ones that are supposed to be created from bloodstains are not working correctly. Either that or those are ones that were preset by the developers, which I kind of doubt. Otherwise they would work. Or maybe they are working and I'm just not registering that the white ones are the ones that are supposed to look like that. Gorgeous view. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess so. That's nice. Praise the Erd Tree. Okay, maybe not. So I guess the Erd Tree is supposed to be the equivalent to Praise the Sun. Doesn't seem to be anything inside of boxes. I guess having one or two videos be first reactions would be okay. Treasure's just there. Try attacking. We'll give it a whirl. Nothing happens. Okay. Why are so many people leaving fake messages? Uh, but it'd be good to have one or two videos be straight up reactions because I'm the first thing that I'll be reacting to is going to be a lot of like core mechanic stuff. And some people have been using the jump button to get around. Jumping off. Actually, there is something down there. Sort of. Actually, it just looks like the cliff is uh, overextended, the model. So there may not actually be anything down there. And I'm tempted to... I'm not used to jumping this game. If you're laughing at me being woo, if you're laughing at me being tentative, there's a good reason for that. Didn't expect death. <laughs> well, let's get off of here. Okay. Try attacking. I don't believe it. I'm not going to cut down the bridge. Try fingers butthole. Now that's a message I want to see. It's about time. I need to make sure I do the right one. It's this one. Yes. Okay. Applaud this message. Hell yeah. Try fingers butthole, you got it, buddy. Now that's that's the kind of message you want to leave. God, I hope there's one for horses. Elden Ring, oh Elden Ring. Beautiful. Okay. First off, good luck. Time for El <laughs> time for Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Okay, I, I get the impression. Uh, maybe the quality of the messages will improve over time. Praise the message. Maybe not. Something incredible ahead. Time for Fingers Butthole. Well, it has the same spirit, but I'm not quite sure what it means here. Always check those corners. Ah, missed. Yes, okay. Fingers. No item ahead. What is with it? I've never seen messages. I know that this is a new game and everything, but I've never seen messages be this erratic and nonsensical before. Try jumping. Like, a lot of people are saying a lot of nothing, which is interesting. And uh, eventually, I imagine I will be comfortable enough jumping that I'll be able to get across things like that very easily, but for the time being, I'm going to put a, put a tack on that particular idea. Okay, nothing there. I hope that this game doesn't start off with a boss fight or something. Oh yeah, I forgot you can crouch. Because there's actually stealth in this game for once. You know, even though I don't really care too much for playing Breath of the Wild past its first part, or the first playthrough, like the idea of playing Breath of the Wild through again fills me with dread. Should have acquired an item, then item. I kind of doubt that. Looks more like death to me, sir. Bloodstain's still not working. Thought I saw something down there, but maybe not. Nope, it's just people trying to get each other killed. What was I just saying? Oh, uh, Breath of the Wild. I'm glad that Breath of the Wild existed because it did seem to influence a lot of developers to do things that they otherwise would not have done. Like, the ability to crouch and do this, be stealthy, 
I feel like is a Breath of the Wild influence, as well as being able to just jump. Now, I can't say for sh certain. It's not as though they saw Breath of the Wild doing it. Oh, wow, I never thought of that. It's not like that. It's more just, since it's in the public consciousness, then they might be more inclined to do it, is what I mean. Okay, please don't be a boss fight. Big open areas. I need time to explore and look at things and waste time. Okay. This looks sort of like one of the classes that we started out with. Generic hooded man in robes holding sword. Okay. I can see that place a little bit better from here. Nothing overtly interesting about it, though. Generic insignias. I try not to read too much in the things like... Uh, emblems. No enemy ahead. Something incredible ahead. Yeah, I bet. I wonder if... Yep. No, I fucking know it. Grafted Scion. Wow, the roll's really slow. And I haven't even tried using my shield yet. Ooh, drains a lot of stamina. Oh, he angy. I'm probably gonna die doing this because I spend so much time scurrying off. Hmm. I wonder if I can use my little... Uh, no, I can't. I can't use my little summon dudes for some reason. Yeah, the slow is much slower than I anticipated. Goodness, I think I'm supposed to die. Because I have no healing items, that took off, like, almost all my health. I'm very slow. <laughs> this guy doesn't really leave too many openings, so it's probably one of these one of the things where you're supposed to die. Although I say that, and it's like, no, it's just a normal boss. You just suck. Yeah, yeah, okay. Although this is handled better. Where you're supposed to die, supposedly. Maybe it is possible to actually beat it. But it goes into a cutscene that I can't see. This is a black screen for me. I was about to applaud the game to be like, that is how you should handle that situation. So it's more clear that this was a scenario that you could not get past. Okay, there we go. If there were, if there was a, like, if there was not supposed to be a cutscene there, that could have been handled a little bit better. Yeah, it didn't really seem like a. I had the equipment to be able to deal with that situation. I imagine very... Because in Dark Souls 1, you could beat the Asylum Demon if you started with, like, black firebombs or so. Uh, that was the easiest way of doing it. Puppy! <laughs> uh, so maybe, like, one of the classes or one of the items that you can bring is uh, more suited to actually dealing with it. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. Torrent is the name of the little goat thing. Here, after all. I appreciate that your horse is not a horse. It's more like a... Almost sort of a donkey... Like, something or other. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. So I think that's supposed to be our level up waifu in this game. The golden order. Ooh. We're naughty. Because we're going to try to be the Elden Lord or something. Okay. So the premise of this game is very, very similar to all the other games. So not much has changed in that regard. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you do beat that boss. I assume there's going to be a new game plus, so you would have to be able to. But presumably you would still need to end up in this area. So maybe after you beat it, you have to like fall down and you end up here anyways or something. Flask of Crimson Tears. I just have it. I don't even pick it up. All right. Flask of Cerulean Tears. So this is probably my magic one. All right. Why is it only? <laughs> I know, buddy. I'll do that one. Enjoy your no appraisals since you're already maxed out. Holy shit. The cave of knowledge lies below. Yeah. 
Maybe it does, but let's avoid the Cave of Knowledge for the time being. HUD display. Oh, you can just... What causes it to shut off, then? Huh. Maybe it just does so automatically over time. Yoink. There we go. I did it. You sure did, buddy. So did I. You get no credit. Unless I'm impressed with it, you get no credit. Don't give up. Yes! The best message in the history of the Souls game. You can do it again. Thank goodness. They finally learned. I'm going to have a lot of fun leaving messages in my own time. Precious item ahead. Yeah, there is. Looks like you can't get to it just yet, though. You're probably going to have to do a return trip. I keep mashing in the button because I'm trying to uh, run. And I keep forgetting that you can't do that anymore. Yoink. Hidden path ahead. Actually, this is a hidden path, to my surprise. Hello, ghost. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge of learning of remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Okay. I'll do that in a bit, though. Now, this little thing looks like it is related to the Erd Tree. First off, <laughs> first, first of all, Erd Tree? Yeah, I know. I guess so. Ooh, that slow down. Door ahead. Now, will it allow me to open this door? Oh. Yes, I in fact can open this door. Now, I hope opening this does not lock me out, but I don't. I also don't want it to be like something that I can't come back to. So I will open and then not go inside. Maybe. Actually, this is a very tiny room. Oh no! Never mind. There is a path forward. Ah, there's a little save point, I think. I think these are the equivalent to bonfires. Lost Grace discovered. Okay. Rest of the side of Grace, or completely ignore it. Or Shatter Skeleton. Whoa, that corpse looks rough. I really wish I had a pair of binoculars. They would be so useful right now. Looks like he's charred but only his lower body. Cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled finger. I won't be doing that in this, uh... Well, I might do it later, but I'm not going to be focusing on co-op within, um... the LP itself. To write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. You know, in Dark Souls 2, I really like the small soapstones, the ones where you could be summoned in, but it was only for a limited time. You had no objective, just be there for a limited amount of time, and I think actually killing enemies shortened the amount of time. I really like that system. That's probably the, my favorite addition to any of the uh, games. I really wish that the... I'll be talking a lot about this in the future, but the the whole invasion system and the like summon and co-op system, I think need a lot of work in all the games. They've never really done it correctly, and from what I gather in Elden Ring, they still haven't done it correctly. But I'll I'll talk about that later. But um, the gist of it is that I wish that any method of invasion or cooperation had more objectives beyond just beat boss or murder the host. It's too binary. I really wish that, like, even invasions had some other element. Like, sometimes they do. Sometimes you can go into someone's world and the objective is just kill a uh, co-op partner, for example. That could be one. And uh, I think purples could do that in three. I'm not sure about the the reds, though. I think those always had to kill the, uh, the host to escape. And, uh, same goes for co-op. I wish it was more than just beat the boss. But, you know, you know. Let's talk about that later. Compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner. Ah. Finger sever. 
for a finger. So the sever is probably to uh, disengage, like uh, it's the purple crystal or whatever, where uh, if you have someone in your world and you're tired of them being there or whatever, then you send them back. Okay, do I have, oh, a map. I forgot that this game has a map. But the map menu you can check your current position, terrain, and buildings surrounding area. You know, it's freely placed beacons of light. Oh, that's nice. To serve as landmarks you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantly. There are some dungeons where this can be done. Okay. All right, and marker. Oh, okay. So these are like markers, and wow, you can place a hundred of them. Holy shit! They really expect you to do a lot of exploring. Ah, okay. And you get one of these? No, you get three, four, five. Okay, you get five of them. All right. That's pretty good, though. I only expected you to have one. That's a good system. I'll try to use that in the future. Okay, so this is my message menu. With a message menu, you can write messages on the phone, change the performance, complex messages. Yes, okay. All right. This works the same as it does in other ones. These are ones that I've observed in the past. These are mine that I haven't done just yet. And you toggle the message format. I always use this one because I like lots of... <laughs> I love lots of customization. Okay, multiplayer. Goodness. With multiplayer, you use various multiplayer items. If you set a group password, this is a new system, you'll be more likely to see messages, summon signs, bloodstains, phantoms, and so on from others using the same password. If you say the multiplayer password, you'll be matched with other players using the same password from most, most multiplayer features. I think it, yeah, is not to play the invasion multiplayer. Right, of course. Otherwise, it would be too easy to basically just do co op only and completely shut off invasions. Which is another thing I'll be talking about in the future. Uh, turns from constantly building some of them quite cooperative multiplayer. Okay, so this is how you... Are they also items? Yes, they are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. It's okay. Are these on my bar already? Yes. Okay. I'm not sure what the up button does yet. It's probably going to be spells again. This seems to be everything. Let me check this out. Creates a summon sign for cooperative multiplayer. Arrive at cooperative with the defeating the summoned. A finger of corpse wax furled like a hook. So, more corpse wax. It is a relic of those who came before. What the hell those would come after? So, maybe the shape of the finger itself is what's important. Use a host of fingers, select a summon player, and send them back. Right, right, right. This phantom blade severs the link formed by a furled finger, but the maidens scorn those who abuse its use. Huh, I wonder what that means. That could either be some sort of bizarre gameplay mechanic, or it could just mean that whenever you talk to waifu lady, whatever her name is, she might lecture you on doing it at some point as some sort of bonus dialogue. I have no idea. But this one... It takes a while to load the images sometimes. Like it's having to cache the information. That's strange. Uh, so more corpse wax used on this one. Although this one seems to be not as badly rotted as this one is. But this one does look like it's more used for writing. Like you would grip it on the uh, metatarsal. I can't remember what the name of the bones are. Uh, you would grip it at the, the base there and then use it as writing instrument. Uh, if it's very stiff, I guess, that would make sense. This one is used for the same sort of functions, but it is not presented as being a finger. It also doesn't say anything about it being made of uh, corpse wax. It doesn't say anything about it at all, in fact. Just that it's a phantom blade. But it still has a grip on it. So that may also still be... Because it looks very similar. Yeah, all of them have that sort of wrapping on the base. But it doesn't look like a finger. It has this curvature to it. So maybe it's not actually a finger at all. Maybe it's a penis. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Alright. But anyways. 
I hope this is a dead end. It sort of is. There's an elevator here that I'm not going to use just yet. All right. Still no hidden path, thank God. I really wish that they would stop having hidden paths in these games. I know a lot of people love them because, but for someone like me, that's... For someone like me that wants to have 100% of everything, it is annoying for that reason. And also because eventually you learn where everything is anyways. And it, like, there's no, like, magic to it either way. But anyways, examine. Use a stone sword key. I don't have one. Are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> you probably know what I'm going to say. I looked at this, and for a split second... I actually thought that one was, like, mounting the other one. Like, I legit was like, whoa, what the... No, it's just my little buddies. I think it's actually my uh, little summon dudes, the Fanged Imp Ashes. Which, by the way, I still can't actually use them. Oh, you get a cutscene the first time you rest here? No, okay, okay. Sort chest, memorize spell... With the memorize, gosh, there's so many things. With the memorize spells menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries, sacred seal, incantations, edges of P. Your memory slots determine the amount of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. Okay. And okay, has nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. All right, I don't have any. So this is the thing that I have is not being counted as a spell. Yeah, you can sort your stuff, huh? Alright, good to know. Flasks. And you can already alter, you can allocate the amount. Yes, okay. I'll keep it standard for the time being. Use one golden seed. Yeah, go ahead and give it a try. Here's something that I complained about in 3. I'll complain about again. I appreciate that this is, it has its own menu item. Um, it should not give you this prompt if you don't have one. Like, it's asking you, do you want to use one? If you don't have one, it should just say, you don't have one. It shouldn't give you an option at all. Because it just confuses you on whether or not you even have it. And it's just one extra sub-menu that they could just get rid of. That would be a minor convenience. I know it's not a big deal, it's just sort of annoying. Okay, but that's it. Alright. There's a path forward here that I'm not allowed to get past. No interaction. Oh, it does bounce off, though, on an R2. That's unusual. No back jumping through it. All right. Uh, okay. Should I mention anything about this area? It does seem to be an altar here. There's coffins. Nothing inside of anything. A lot of desiccated remains, so it does appear that we're inside of some catacombs again. The catacombs in Souls games usually look pretty much exactly the same. Like this looks almost identical to something you would find in uh, their Root Chalice dungeons in Bloodborne. And it looks the same as it does in 3. Seek life. Okay, since it was recommended to us, let's go ahead and jump down that thing. There's another item over there. Frame rate is having some troubles. It is indeed having some troubles. Okay, so... Messages are saying, saying to go down here, and a lot of them have been lying, but that nice little ghosty man said to do it too, so we'll do it... We'll do that too. And so, Okay. Uh, presumably... I haven't even tried the... I probably should have tried to use this. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that's where the quick menu is now. I think? I don't want to use this unless I... Okay. Alright, good. I was worried it wouldn't give me a prompt. Alright, so it, it is set that the HUD auto fades out over time. How am I supposed... Holding down Y takes me to that. So how exactly do I two-hand something? How do I two-hand this halberd? It's not Y anymore. What could it be? It's not going to be backstep, of course. It's not going to be jump. It's not. I'm not it's not going to be the item, certainly. 
I still can't use whatever this is. Whatever the fanged impashes are, I can't use it. What else would it be? Not map. Not this. Wait. Oh, you have more than... Can you set more items? But there's nothing on there. So how would you handle that? I don't know. I'll figure it out in a bit. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, that's one thing that I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. But supposedly the fall damage... Good, alright, good. The fall damage is not as intense as it was in the other games. Which I'm glad that they finally learned their lesson about. It was very irritating dropping off of something that was like a tiny brick. And taking a very a minimal amount of damage, but still it's damage that you should not have taken in the first place. Okay, so catacombs leave to underground cave. Oh, this is another side of grace. And maybe this is one that you were expected to go to at first anyways. Time for fire. How <laughs> house. <laughs> this is my house. You can tell that they wanted it to be fire again. I keep getting sponsors sponsorship emails. Getting kind of annoying, actually. Okay. Can you teleport to these at any time you want? Travel. No, okay. Yeah, you can. Huh. That makes it certainly very convenient. Critical hit required ahead, therefore be wary of running. A critical hit is required. Oh, okay. In other words, sneak. Okay, that's a good message. I mean, it's not that important, but I'll reward him for his efforts. Because I'm a gracious lord. But first... Try stealth, right? Wow, you could do it that, that late? RB, yeah, right, right, right. Be wary of group. Shovels. Are they different shovels? Ah, there's... Well, no, they're the same shovel model. No, actually, there are different shovel models. Look at that. They went through the bother of it. Uh, one has a... Uh, a really uncomfortable... <laughs> a really uncomfortable handle. And the other one does have a... A triangular-shaped whatever... However you want to describe that. And uh, pickaxes as well. Okay. And bones, bones. All right. Does it give me a prompt? It does not. Ow! Uncomfortable. And whenever you backstab someone, it does make you stand up, so you can't just keep stealthing. You did do it. Oh, here he comes. Here's our boy. Now is he still... It looks like he actually, he still has not detected that we're here. He's just scripted to come forward. No, he does see us, I think. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, he does see us. I guess he's just supposed to be that dumb. Okay. My soul's brain is telling me to two-hand my weapon, but I can't do that yet. I always appreciate having a long weapon that has reach, because I... I've been over this before. In Souls games, I don't like taking damage. That's one of the things that griped me about Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. Those games, you are meant, you must. Like, you can't get through those games doing special runs where you don't take any damage at all. But they are designed so that you absolutely should be taking damage, most likely. And I do not care for that. Supposedly, this game is slower than 3, which... Thank God, because I was getting really tired of them increasing the speed in every one of these games to the point where they were trying to make them into action games. Which, this is sort of an action game, but it's more like a... Like, Demon Souls was more of a... Almost like a resource adventure game, in a weird way. But anyway, so I'm getting sidetracked. I'm making a little hit on the Garnet, because Garnet is from... It's a special effect and done with a shield. Damn it, run out, stands to be broken. Right. I did it. What a guard. What a fantastic guard I did just then. Uh, dodging. Okay. Right, right. Dodge roll, backstep, right. I wonder if backstep has any iframes to it. It probably doesn't. Now that guy, I wanted to see that. You could tell that he was scripted. 
to attack you once you got within a certain range. Uh, but he didn't actually see us, but he still did it. Because they were trying to teach you the dodge mechanic. Pretty nifty. I wonder if you can, like, light things like this on fire. I wonder if, uh, objects in the world are interactable in that way. Jump. Alright, good way of teaching that mechanic. Whoa! Hello, sir. Now, do the arrows track? They have... A, looks like they have a very moderate amount... Yes, okay, they do track a little bit. Now, usually this is a trap to try to get you to rush forward and get attacked by something else. Acquire materials. In every corner of the limb... Oh, right, right, right. There's a gathering mechanic in this game. In every corner of the limb, soon you find fruits and flowers, mushrooms, butterflies, various other useful materials. Use one credit for... I didn't credit. Right. We. I'm going to be pressing A mistakenly a lot. But still, it's kind of fun to jump, so I don't mind it too much. Okay. Row of fruit. I will look at row of fruit. Assuming I don't get attacked while I'm doing this. In which case, I will still do it. Very like That's weird. Like, fruits are berries in their own way, I guess. Uh, it's more... It's sort of like saying vegetables. There's no such thing as a vegetable. That's just a way of describing, uh, like, culinary... Various particular culinary items that are still themselves uh, either fruits or roots or nuts and so on. But anyways, I'm sure that someone in the comments No, you understand. Very good. Anyone that disagrees with me always sounds... <laughs> no, sorry, that's just something I enjoy doing. Um, easily found everywhere in the lands between. It has a wide variety of uses. Like shoving up your butt. Or being tiny, tiny little apples. One of those two things, but only those two things. Okay, that man's still up there, so I'll probably shoot. Oh no, he lost interest. Maybe because we're... Uh, we're under there for so long, he just stops seeing us. Critical hit required ahead. Is he just looking back and forth? No, I guess he did see us. Arms required ahead. Arms required ahead? You stop looking at me, sir. No. <laughs> Alright. Critical hit required ahead. Now, let's see if we can, uh... You're probably laughing because I'm taking so much time with these enemies, but I'm trying out basic mechanics that I've learned from Souls games over the past. Okay, yes. I was anticipating this being like a weapon art tutorial. You can be with them three armaments, long you to talk between them. Armaments can also be two-handed, making times more difficult to propel. Switch right, left, right, right, right. Oh, you hold down Y and then... Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, so you hold down Y. Ah, okay. No. So this guy's, I hope, trying to teach you how to get through people's guards. Okay. So the timing is, yeah, the timing is very similar to the other games. Liar. <laughs> liar. I don't know what's worse. The, the fake messages that are just lying to you or the messages that people put down in anticipation that you might see... The, there's no guarantee you'll even see the other message. Like this one, liar ahead. Like there's no other message around. So it's referencing nothing. It's unfortunate that these even need to be a thing. Message, thanks, thanks, dipshit. Message, okay, I, all right. You know what? I take it back. Fantastic. Fantastic message. And you, even better. Thank God that was there. Okay. It's going to take me a while to get used to the way the controls work. Like, not being able to just tap Y in two hands is a little bit strange. I guess I'll get used to it, though. Change target. Okay. Right. It's done a pretty good job at tutorializing so far. 
Nope, did that wrong. There we go, okay. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, they only need one hit. That's good. I wonder what my other weapon is like. Two hits. Okay, I do like range, so I'll stick with this for the time being. Archer ahead. Really? Uh, if you say so. Could this be necessary item? There's nothing here. There's nothing here anywhere, in fact. Time for blocking. Ah, that's why Archer ahead. Okay. Although he... Uh, he probably should have had an emote pointing over here. Or an emote, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Alright, come over here. I want to do some practice. I actually was thinking about doing pairing practice. I'm so used to enemies being hollow that it's kind of weird to me that they just have faces. It's, like, super strange. Like, that's so ingrained in my brain these days. Okay, so that was the archer that we encountered before. But these guys look like they're supposed to be a little bit hollow. And, of course, they're positioned in such a way that stealth is pretty much useless against them. I'm just have... Okay, it wants me that Okay, it's finally wanting me to use a weapon art. Now, I was hoping that FP would work a little bit differently in this game, if there was FP at all. Okay, may as well use it. Um, although this is going to be... yeah, so I'm going to have to switch to two-handed. Oh, Didn't expect him to start trying to use an attack just then. So this is pretty slow, I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. But I was hoping that FP would actually work better in this game, or even if it's this, like it is effectively the same as it was in three, which I didn't really like the way that three handled it at all. <clears throat> I was hoping that it would be more like stamina, crouch to make harder, right, right, right. I was hoping it would be more like stamina, but something that works over a very long period of time. Like, uh, you just regenerate it very, very slowly. But there are problems with that as well. I'm so sneaky. Look how sneaky I am. Sir, did you mean to do that? <laughs> yes, I actually did. <laughs> did, you, did you enjoy my bit? Okay. Uh, I, I actually wanted to test and see if there was auto-tracking. There is not. There is not. So you do have to uh, tilt the stick in the exact direction that you want it to be. Okay. I wonder if you actually get like a... It's not showing me anything. Charge forth. Uh, it doesn't uh, show whether you're getting some sort of bonus to your stealth or not. Oh! It doesn't even do it that way. Do you have to be completely motionless to do a back, uh, backstab? Let there be whole. Yes, indeed. I don't think you can actually get through this. Nope. But still. Skinny sort required. <laughs> Skinny sort. This is fantastic. I'm liking these uh, new messages. Uh, once I'm uh, not recording, I'll spend more time actually evaluating all the options. Stance breaking? What? Some attacks may break an enemy's stance. Oh, a poise break, in other words. You can break their poise. Uh, charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Okay. Now, I know that jump attacks somehow actually have their own uh, iframes, which is absurd to me. I wonder if you can jump into an R2. You can! Yeah, these guys do look sort of hollow. Although their corpses stay... Look at... Look at this pose. Fantastic. He died so elegantly. Jesus Christ, superstar, indeed. Okay. 
Yeah. Interesting. Upon dying, don't, don't, whatever. <laughs> and upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. If there is a stake of Merica near where you died. Was Merica the name of the lady from the beginning? Oh, it's so tiny. If only had a piercing. It's probably a penis joke. I don't know. She ain't got no arms. Ain't even got no arms. It's cute how tiny she is, though. So I don't have to do anything with it? I guess not. Okay. All right, then. Okay, uh... I keep forgetting... It is way more awkward to... To hand and not to hand. I'll eventually get used to it, but that's pretty awkward. All right. Uh, first actual boss time, I guess. Time to get my ass kicked anyways. Soldier of Godric. Oh, it's just some guy? You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking and Oh, yeah! This is something that I actually asked for, and it's actually in here. Is a... Well, it's sort of. Actually, I was saying that the parry mechanic... I never liked the parrying mechanics in any of the games because it's too binary. You either completely whiff and eat it, or you completely succeed and just one-shot kill an enemy, which also uh, goes for PvP. So as a result, they've been making the parry timings so absurdly tight that they're almost unusable in a lot of cases. Although people that PvP religiously obviously can uh, memorize them and use them consistently. Um, but I always wanted parrying to be more of a build-up mechanic, to where if you're like perfect guarding at the right time, then it eventually does like, like allow you to parry them conventionally. Which is something that apparently is in Sekiro, but not exactly, because that's more of a rhythm system. But anyways, guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. Immediately after blocking attack, RT. So not RB, but RT. Okay. Oh, well. Not exactly what I had in mind. Has to be more perfect than that. This is a good enemy to test this on. Well, or not. His attacks are a little bit weird. Maybe I should... Yeah. I'm not getting a... God. The timing is so weird. Okay. Never this. Wow, I can't actually... <laughs> There's actually, like, a large amount of time that is required to... God. There's a large amount of time that's required to, uh... Like, recover. You don't automatically get up and block. You have to, like, uh... Actually confirm the input, I think. Oh, well, whatever. I'm trying to test that thing, but... He does a little bit too damage to test it correctly. No, it does work. I was expecting there to be some sort of noise or something. So I guess it was working. So the timing on that is actually fairly lenient. Yeah, that's kind of a weird mechanic. Huh. But it didn't really seem to do anything special. It was just a separate animation that was a little bit faster than normal, maybe? Maybe it does more poise damage. Actually, it was a little bit slower since I'm using a sword. Huh. I wonder how that's going to play out. Hmm. Well, alright. Oh, uh... By the way, those little statues... Actually, I'm, I think that's where I came from. I don't quite remember. Um, those statues... I'll... I'm sort of glad that they exist. I know a lot of people are excited for them. I'm kind of worried about them myself. They are useful, you know, obviously. There's no downside to them not being there. Um, didn't expect weak foe. Oh, well, he's, it's a training dummy. I mean, I took a lot of damage because I was screwing around. Um, but the thing that has me slightly concerned... 
in like Demon Souls especially, and in some areas of Dark Souls One, and also in Dark Souls Two for this matter, um, there are some areas in which the boss is absurdly easy, but the the actual boss itself is the area, and it takes a while to get through the area. But once you have it perf- perfected, then it's kind of trivial. Uh, so it's more of a matter of practicing the area, and then you get to the boss, and then the boss is sort of a pushover, and then you proceed. And some areas are divi- designed like that. And I actually like those a lot. Uh, not so much the swamps, though. If you're thinking, you mean the swamp? No, not swamps. No one likes the swamps. Uh, as time has gone on, though, it's become more common for them to put a lot of focuses focus on the bosses. And how... Like how action oriented the bosses are, and how much it's more about the like uh, the mechanical the mechanical nature of actually interacting with all the animations of the boss. Uh, so those things sort of have me worried because that makes me that like tells me that they have abandoned completely the idea of areas themselves being the boss. And then, like, it's more about, tr- like, in the, a lot of it, the areas is more about can you get to the area with enough healing resources to beat a comparatively easy boss? Uh, there are, yeah, I forgot, I need to turn that off. Uh, there are some cases, hold on, I'll turn that off. I forgot that my Discord alerts is still a thing. Don't. Uh, I lost my train of thought because of that. There are some areas that, of course, are like that. Uh, like you'll like say the Undead Berg in Dark Souls One is a sort of okay example. Of this getting through that first area of the Undead Berg is kind of difficult, but not too much. If you know what you're doing, like if you're a veteran of the Souls games, it's it's simple. Like it requires almost nothing. Uh, but you can't get your ass kicked. And especially since you're starting out with probably 10 flasks that you brought with you from Firelink Shrine, you can't do it on your first clear. Uh, but as you keep, if you keep dying repeatedly, you'll drop down to 5. And 5 is a better indication of this. Where uh, by the time you actually get to the Minotaur boss that's up there, the Taurus demon. Oh, I picked up an emote. Strange. Strength. Okay. Uh, by the time that you get to that boss, then you might actually have like one Astus flask. So you might have zero. And like that's the whole challenge is can you actually get through this entire area with... Uh, can you clear this area e- efficiently enough that you have the resources you need in order to defeat the boss? And the older Souls games were designed like that. Whereas the, the new ones seem to be more this focus of get through the area. Did you get through the area? Okay, you're done. Here's the boss. Can you beat the boss? No. Spend the next 20, 30 minutes trying to beat it. And for, in the case of some bosses, spend the next hour. Or spend the next two days. Like, especially if it's a fucking Ludwig or something. Um, and then you're allowed to proceed. Okay, what did I get from that guy, actually? Actually, nothing. Because the whole point of that area was just to act as an optional tutorial. That's nice. Yeah, that was a good way of handling that. What the fuck? Are these old tutorials? Huh. That's interesting. Probably don't really need it, but th- that's pretty good. I like that. I still have no idea how they <laughs> how how they use my little dudes that I got. It could be that uh, it's not actually possible for me to just yet. Actually, I could have just used my map to tra- traverse back here. Yeah, it, using the controls is a little bit awkward for me right now. No, nope, still can't use it. I want to use my two little friendly dudes. Oh, they're not in my pants. They aren't in my pants. I don't know what to do about it. 
So confusing. Okay. Now, usually my LP parts are like two or three hours, but I don't want to overdo it too much. So I think I'll try to get outside, wherever outside is, and then we'll leave it there. Okay. Nothing to do here just yet. I don't have the ability to level up yet. And in fact, I don't think I've even been gaining any... I don't think I've been gaining runes, have I? I haven't been paying any attention, actually. Right. Okay. I have 592 with me. Read message. Try lever, but <laughs> offer rump. Oh, in other words, do it from the other side. Yeah, it does look like it's supposed to be done from uh, that side. Although, it doesn't look like I can interact with it either way. And it's not something that you can interact with uh, with your weapon. So it's probably ready already. And I've already interacted with that stuff. Okay, now let's proceed. Whee! You know what the best elevators in the Souls games are? It's the ones that have uh, two elevators right next to each other. And one goes up and the other one goes down. Those are by far the best ones. I don't like that the messages are glowing like items in the old Souls games. Could this be an item? No. Because of that. Like, it's so easy to confuse them for something that's actually useful. Liar head. Is this an item? No. Could this be an item? It's just another one of those. Yep. Yep. These should not be this color. The reason why they were orange in the other games is because it conflicted with what the items look like. Good luck. Okay. Open. Oh. That's a, a Zelda-style door open. Don't see those very often. Limgrave. Bird. Okay. Um, pretty. I think that is... I'm not that... I watched a little bit of the network test. I'm not that familiar with any of this. I do know that there's like an... There he is. There's a fucking asshole. This is like an optional first boss. But from what I gather, it's much better to just completely ignore him. Uh, because he he apparently is like a pushover once you get your little goat friend. Uh, what's his name? Torrent. U-Torrent. Yeah, good old U-Torrent. Well, I take that back. His name is not U-Torrent. That's a bad name. His name is actually Qubit Torrent. That's what his name is. That's the good shit. <laughs> okay. Now, because that was the way forward, I'm going to ignore it. Bald Eagles. There's lots of little animals. Animals. See if I can murder these precious, beautiful creatures. They finally started recovering. They've been returning. Actually, we have some bald eagles near here. Uh, ever so often, they'll roost in the area. Uh, they're like right around the corner, actually. Right down the road. Can't miss it. No! I, d I just wanted to, to sing uh, patriotic songs with you. Come back. Ah, uh, well, they're gone. Wow, the, <laughs> the animation of them flying off could have looked a little bit better. That could have looked a lot worse, too. Okay, I don't want to miss talking to that dude, though. I just don't want to fall off the edge of something and not be able to get my way back up. But I also want to explore. I'm really struggling with the confirm b button being Y now. Even though my brain is also like, wow, it has to be, whoa, it has to be really exact. There we go. He was so cute. Wow. Look at that. Left a big blood trail. It's pretty cool. Thin beast bones. Hmm. Also, I realized just now that I'm actually recording my display as opposed to recording the, uh, the game output. Which I'll try to change in the future. So you're probably getting even more frame drops than you should be getting. Which I'm already getting quite a bit of frame droppage. This time. Oh, 
Haha, two for one. Then Beast Bones, Flight Pinion. Okay, let's take a look at these two things because I am an asshole. Found by hunting bird. Found oh, found by hunting birds. Not they're not found by hunting birds. They're found by you hunting birds. Flight feather birds. Craft stuff. Use for arrows. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's what that says. Uh, tear your leaf. This is, yeah, the, okay, yeah, this is that thing I picked up earlier. Dark red leaves with thick, swollen veins. Ooh. Material used for crafting items. Exceedingly rare to find. Oh, explains why I have it. A faint pulse can be felt in the veins. Stirs the blood, providing an enlivening infect, effect. Yeah. So maybe this is sort of hinting that the plants in this place are more alive than you would think. Thin hard beast bones. Found by hunting beasts. Commonly used to make disposable weapons. Okay. Is that a fucking... That better not be a fucking little titanite thing. Uh... Whoop. 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 What the fuck? What is this? Golden rune. What the fuck was that? A little rolly skull thing? I can't tell if I broke it or if I just touched it and then it shattered. Guess I'll find out in the future. Nope. A rune. A rune. My kingdom for a rune. Actually, oh no, here it is. Okay. This is in the first one. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a soul item. Alright. Well, I may as well read it. Hold on. Grace that dwells within the inhabitants of the lands between. The lingering trace of gold. Used to get, gain a small number of runes. Runes are nourishment for the development of any tarnished. Provided a finger maiden can be found. Did you really have to call them finger maidens? I mean, you can call them whatever you want. Finger maidens? Maybe that's why they included old finger butthole. Summoning pools. In each area you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Okay. Small golden effigy. Is that an item that I just found? Yes, it is. Oh, so there's a distinction between them. So this is a standard one that can be used anywhere. And this one, no matter where you are, sends your sign back to this location, I think. Do they really need another item for this? It seems like you should be able to just interact with your sign and then tell it to go to here, and then it would do so. Eh, whatever. Center proper design and some summoning pools. Activated pools only. So I guess you can't use this to to go to a, a pool that you have not actually been to. In cooperative multiplayer, your objective will be to defeat the area boss of the world again. Okay. I was hoping that this would be like a, a timed feature, like a small soapstone. But I guess not. Here we are. Oh, Grace. I do know I don't remember what this guy says, but I know that he's an asshole. Grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now some sites of Grace retain that power. The Golden Rise will guide you along your way. Something that was not really clear in Souls games was uh you would come across a bonfire and sometimes you would find a guy just standing beside it, but it wasn't lit yet. Because you, the player, have to light it. It's like, why... Is something wrong, buddy? You're not going to be using this? Doesn't everyone use these? The map. Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at... Steels? Steles? It's probably Steles. Steles? Along the road. I'll figure that out later. You can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Right, right. Good to know. Hello, dickwad. 
Oh, you look like shit. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. He's rubbing his hands together. That means he's an asshole. You. However, you are maidenless. No bitches. <laughs> the strength of runes and without an invitation to the round table hold. Round table hold. Fated, it seems to die in obscurity. Damn, just like real life. No bitches, you go nowhere. But is <laughs> I'm staring I was about to like try to create some sort of dumb sexist joke, but I didn't have it, and then I realized I don't want to make a sexist joke. <laughs> Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Your right hand. Vare. Oh. Take care to listen. Are you familiar? Me. With I will be your bitch. Golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow even if it leads you to your grave. At least he didn't... At least he did not laugh after he said it like every other Souls NPCs. Maybe they got the notice on that and were like, okay, let's stop doing that. Oh, maybe that's what he's talking about? Yes, okay. It's showing me my next objective. Please walk right past the angry, angry man... Uh, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I won't walk past the really, really angry man. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly. I only rub my the hands together when I'm talking. Vale. Over on the cliff, the home Castle of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Dragon. I've seen him. He's looks like he's a pain in the ass. I don't look forward to having to fight that fucking asshole. He looks incredibly unfair. But I'm sure after studying his move set for exactly five hours, then he'll be the easiest thing in the world. Modern from self games. All right. So this will be a good place to stop. How do I use the emote menu? How do I do that? This is that. I'm never forgetting it. There's the gestures there. But how do you use them on the fly, I wonder? How do you use them on the fly? And can you... Do I have enough to be able to... Yes, I do. Scroll help, maybe? New controls? Nope. Nothing there about that. Let me see them. Hold on. Mm, that one's okay. It's not as good as well. What is it though? I don't think anything will be. Point forward, of course. That is the exact. These are the exact same. I don't think this one. No, no, that's the exact same one. It's just the icon looked a bit different. Yeah, that, that's all right. Uh, a lot of these are just so particular that there's not really much hey. of a chance to. Oh, hello. <laughs> um. Yeah, a lot of these are just completely ripped from the prior games. This one is slightly different. There's more, like, motions of the fingers on the hand, it looks like. You know which one I actually... Probably my favorite one of these for just general use is the one that you get from... Uh, what is his, her name? Your quote-unquote wife, husband, and three. But you get it from them, it's the Quiet Resolve one, I think it's called. Where you just like hold out your hand, like one fist in the air. I always like that one, it's just so simple. And this one reminded me of it. It doesn't look like it though. You could use it while you're walking too. Okay. Good old dejection. 
The rest one doesn't like any guns. Bell. Do ring. Oh, you actually do an animation for standing up before you. Ring. I mean, you're... <laughs> Your arms can't quite form a perfect ring, but that is a pretty good approximation, I guess. And maybe that's their replacement for uh, Praise the Sun, the old miracle jester from Demon Souls. Okay. Well, anyways, that'd be a good signing off. Here, I'll, I'll give you a nice ring. Ring. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Uh, part two will probably be me trying to get past that guy down there and getting my ass kicked. In the meantime, what I'm probably going to do is make another character that is not this guy. And then use that character to do, like, co-op and shit like that. But not go too far beyond this area. Because this is still early enough that I want first reactions to a few things. And I'm sure that you do too. You want to see my first reaction to a lot of crazy shit. But as you can tell, my particular brand of playthrough is plotting enough that that will not happen too soon. I'm sure that my guy here is getting really tired of holding his arms up. So to that end, look forward to my prolonged Elden Ring playthrough that will take exactly a year and a half to complete. I'm not actually joking. It will probably be that bad. <laughs> so until next time, see you guys then. Bye-bye. Alright, you can put your arms down. You can put... There you go. There you go, buddy. I know you're tired. Thank you for cooperating. Bye-bye.